Okay, so let's find out how to get to this the island of Thanatos. So I'm surprised that I never don't buy this Dante. Hmm. I want to see a corpse bleaching or rotten in the sun. Who's this Dante? Why am I so rude? How about this? To see you again, I'm afraid not one. Who are you? Hey. <clears throat> Good day to you, friend. Good day to you, friend. Er, er. Um, Killian Drake. Level 45. This swarthy gentleman looks up to you with an air of disdain. Why juggling pair of dice in his left hand? Yes. What is it you want of me? I don't know. Who are you? Eh, yeah, I'm the king of the dice, Captain Killing Drake, my boy. Ask old teacher over here if you want verification of my prowess. I'll do that. Good day. <laughs> I prefer not to speak with that old roomie. If it can be avoided. I understand. Well, if there is anything else, how about the game of dice? I'm professional, sir. I play a high state game. Of course. I play for high stake too. I play for no less than 500 coins. What a stake! Ooh! And how do I play? I never done it before. Do I learn it somehow? Gambling. 
the skill and luck of uh, winning at cards, dice and other games of chance. This skill is dependent upon your intelligence. Okay. Alrighty. Human villager. Who's this guy? I fell. Okay, let's go and talk to Teach. Well, well, if even it isn't me, old friend. A friendly face is what I've been needing to see, matey. The days have been dark since last we saw, sailed. What's happened, Captain Teach? I lost my boat, matey. I went and got too drunk one night and found myself gambling with Killian Drake, an old sea captain who knows his way around the dice game. He played me, matey. He played me a fool and I lost me boat. Do you think he cheated? Oh, I don't know if an old Drake's a cheat. He's just lucky about the luckiest old sea dog I've ever did meet. I can't be calling a man a cheat just because the dice landed his way. Maybe I could help and I may need to call on that favor. That's mighty nice of your matey. And you know, it's the ass. Uh, anything I can do for you, old teacher, do it. Thank you, I need to get the uh, to the island of um, Anatus. Anatus. That's even crazier than wanting to go to the Isle of Despair. But I'm figuring it's important and I know it's the way Mr. Bates would want it. I suppose there are a couple of different ways you might get there. One, you could buy a boat from the shipbuilder here in Blackwood, which ain't cheap. What are my other options? You might be able to get a dice game with an old Drake, but he's not rubber leg when it comes to the dice. He's lucky and he plays for big stakes. I wouldn't be a tossing with him unless you feel real lucky and he won't be playing with just anyone. Old Drake knows a gambler when he sees one. Alright, and the other solution? Well, I'm a little leery of even mentioning it. It's not something I even like to think about, much less let's spill out and blow hole. But you see, I need some help and I owe you one. I'd really appreciate any help you might be able to give. Did I ever tell you the story of how I came to own the Gypsy Shadow? Um, no, you wouldn't tell me of it before. Well, that was before all we've been through. Would you like to hear it now? Surely. Of course, I will. Well, maybe by the time I could start growing a beard, I'd sailed from one end to this land to the other, from the southern shores of uh, Weeping Maidens to the northeast ice choked waters of the Jailer's Hum. Ain't nothing of the sea I hadn't seen, and most of it twice. I see, please continue. At the time I was trying to nail out to Caledon first mail for a I mean uh, and crusty old captain who went by the name uh, Jack Skellybones. Half pirate and half devil with the mouth of blue guild she demon and the breed breath of match to match jack used to drink so much that we pray for tailwinds if the journeys uh, journey take too long he starts drinking the profits profits sounds like quite a character if that be the truth maybe old jack would fight you if he thought you breathed he uh, known him wrong he had more scars on his face than most men had all of and he could tell you story from each one. 
and now were they the same. He was a hard man, but fair to his crew, and he loved the sea mighty almost as much as he loved his boat, the Gispy Shadow. Interesting, what happened to him, Captain? Well, one night he was all drinking in the sour barnacle down Black Root. Way and old Jack got real drunk and started in with his stories and as the night got on they tales got taller and we laughed harder and we were all having a grand old time. And so Jack had one too many and started saying as to how he was the greatest pirate on the seas of Arcano and how if there was anyone who thought they were crustier then he'd have something to say about it. I see, what happened then? He started uh, splitting and uh, hollering and then after appending every table in the place he had he said that he was the greatest pirate who had ever lived, tougher than Ruby Dirk and Black Sam Bellamy, and even meaner than Stringly Petty himself. Stringly Petty, who's here? I don't talk much about him, you know. Um, I'll just say that Stringly, Stringly Petty. Stringly Pete was the meanest cold blooded murdering pirate who ever put to sail and be done with it. There are stories and leg legends, and most of them are true. He's been dead for more than 200 years, and people still whisper his name when they talk about him. I see, and what of Jack Skellybones? Well, after he said that no one much felt like drinking, after, and to put old Jack to bed. You see, a pirate is mean, but he knows what to be joking about and blustering about and uh, calling out to the ghost of Stringy Pit ain't of one of them. And so? Well, a week or so later we were out to sea and it was there a new moon, so it was dark and strange westerly had appeared and brought in a bank of low clouds, thick as lambs too. And then we saw the other ship, just a resting of the starboard. Silent as death and as still as if she was uh, anchored, her sails tottered, her timbers ro rotted, and then we heard the screams. What happened? We found old Jack in his cabin with two daggers in him, one for each eye and the sign of the evil eye carved into his chest. The very sight old Stringle Pete used to live on his victims. We ran out to see who was on the other boat, but it was gone, the token, the clouds and the Westerly with it. What rather? F that's rather frightening. Uh, being first mate, uh, I took command and uh, ownership of the Gisp Shadow. I've never laid eyes on that other boat since, and I hope I never do. I see. What does this have to do with getting to Thanatis? I'm saying I've seen this boat, and I know it to be real. If you could get this boat without getting yourself run through by his ghost, you'd have yourself a boat. Seems a little flimsy. How do I find the ghost pirate boat? Years ago, I found a secret cove. And there on the beach was with an unmarked grave 
unmarked except the sign the evil eye which is the sign stringly pete used to carve of his victims i got out of uh, there fast without even looking for treasure that could have been the place where he was buried and if it was he said most spirits return to their graves at the very least, I might find some clues. Yes, Mary, I agree. Here, I'll mark your map with the location of the cove. Teach does so. Looks like you have a few options. Buying gambling or stringly, stringly pit. I don't like any of them, but good luck. Thanks, Captain. I'll keep you abreast of situation. Wow. Three options. Of course, I like... The ghost option the, mo uh, the most. Edward Teach suggested three options for obtaining passage to the Isle of uh, Thanatus. Winning the gypsy back from killing Drake, buying a boat for myself, or attempting to steal a boat from the ghost of Stringy Pit. I discovered Edward Teach in the Sour Barnacle in black root uh, while seeking passage to the Isle of Natus. Um, he told me that he lost uh, the gypsy shadow in the game uh, of a chance to a man called Killing Drake. Oh look look look. I met an old drunk in the sour barnacle in black root he had a map to the secret cove of string repeat may warrant uh, further investigation um this run right Oh, well, let's try to play with uh, Drake. Drake, Drake, Drake. Salty Citric. Away with ya! Leave me and me map long. Oh, ho, ho. look at this! You drunken Duncan. Let me try to. <laughs> no, no, no. Haunted Cove, look at this. Nice. What else? Let's try to play with them. Killing Drake. This worth it, gentlemen. Yeah, I hear you have a boat. Will want to gamble for it? Who well, stakes that high? Not only game with masters of gambling. You fall a bit shy of that mark, I'd say. How about for normal stakes then? I'm a professional, sir. I play a high stake game. Of course. You have come to the wrong place. I don't game with amateurs. To clarify the rules, sir, I know how to play. Play no less than four. Okay. Roll to set your mark. Roll the dice. Oops, oops, oops. Um. Uh, 
Critical success in gambling. You have rolled 6 and 6, a 12 domination. I will never make this. Snake eyes, you have rolled a 1 and 1. Confound this dice. You have lost my friend. What? My goodness. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um Okay. Do it right away. Wow. Oh, that was quite fast. Hmm, good place.
Not enough space. Okay, something interesting is about to begin. Oh, look at this. String with bit. Hmm. Okay. You see a spirit in front of you. It is a skeleton dressed in tattered uh, rags. Tattered. And a large black hat and wielding an evil looking saber. Its eyes glow with an unholy light. Arr. Who be threading upon me grave? Who be trying to get the hands on me treasure? Prepare to die, you land loving gold bugger. No one sees the evil eyes, uh, old stringy pit and leaves. Wait, I'm not here to take anything. I just want to talk. That would be me. 
disagreed in your pathetic remains. <clears throat> Talk! What would your rubber legged beagle fish like you want to be uh, talking about with the ghost uh, stringlepid? I've been sailing the seas of Arcana for more than 200 years and I drink blood ale and now on the bones of priests and maidens I not be looking to talk. You've chewed on your last clergyman. Please, I just need a moment to explain. To explain what you've been needing to explain, lady. You've been digging around in bones and looking for me treasure to a pirate that be worse than finding you baiting you, you hook with me, wife. Look, I'm only here because I need your boat. There's no doubt that all it was good for. Me boat? I cared for me wife less than this boat. Why in the name of all that's unholy would I give you me boat? We are speaking gibberish, gibberish, and I had mourned her full of it. A soul as tormented as me own has got little patience for the blubberings of the livings. You will not hear it again. I am ruining the world of your curse. Tormented? Don't you enjoy being a blessed pirate god? Enjoy it. The ghost seems a little surprised at the question. With the fire in his eyes, dimming a little. I doubt, matey. I was the crustiest, meanest, most bloodthirsty pirate who ever lived, and none of what I did when. I was life compares to things I've seen dead. I don't understand. You don't want to be here? No, but I've got no choice. I was cursed, me. Cursed from the day I died to sail the seas forever, haunting the souls will be taken my name in vain to strike terror in the pure a heart to be given little ones nightmares cursed cursed by whom i cursed myself i spilled the blood of innocence disgraded holy places and the worst thing i ever did i broke a pirate's blood oath i even without the first two deserve that I got because at last I shouldn't even call myself a pirate after what I did. And what sort of things have you seen? I see all the souls and the dead of the dead who walk this world and I see the souls of all new victims. And they torment me as I still be uh, tormenting the living. And it be their pain I feel every day and every night on these glassy seas. And their dead eyes that be staring out at me from their murky depth. Is there any way to break this curse? Break the curse? The ghost is silent for a moment, contemplating. And why would you want to do that, maybe? Why would one such as you want to be helping the evil ghost no string the beat? Your boat, Captain. I need your boat. Tell him your story. That'd be quite a story, and one I'd not be inclined to believe when I was flesh and blood. But 
Charmy, squeeze, big, even I haven't the stranger things since. Perhaps there is something we might do there. Any help you might have would be greatly appreciated, Captain. Well, I can't be giving up this boat and account a curse. But I know a way we might break that curse if you'd be willing to do a little legwork. I might. What needs to be done? Well, there, there'll be three things. If my suspicions are correct, three wrongs to right and the curse will be broken. Tell me them. Which of them do you want to hear about? The first task. Hmm, interesting, can I ask each of them? The first be an easy task. I told you I killed many an innocent in time. A good and poor man the name of Jonas Wilmerson killed him for the silver buckles on his boots, but mostly for the sport at it. I laughed while he bled into the gutter, a crying out to me that I spared his family. That's pretty vicious, speed. So how do you make that right? Well, his family, they fell on hard times without him, and the um, Wilmerson's been poor ever since. Uh, you'll need to dig up my treasure, including those silver buckles, and to give it to whoever is left at the Williamson's. My treasure is buried a little west of here. He points to an area just west where you are. Where the Williamson's? Here, I'll show you on your map. The ghostly finger points to location on the east coast of Arcano. I know they still live here. I've sailed by there in the years since I died. It'd not be a nice place. I see. Is there anything else? Yes, don't be thinking you can keep some of the treasures for yourself. These curses, they be old and smart, and if you be trying to cheat them, then I'm still gonna be sailing the seas, and then I'm gonna be coming after you. Savvy that, matey. Savvy that, matey. Of course, and other tasks? This is uh, dreadfully complicated. Perhaps I'll just destroy all. <laughs> uh, probably it would be super easy to destroy this guy, but. The second task. Which of them do you want to hear about? Second, second. The second task that might be a little more complicated. There'd be a temple in the hills just of the Gulf of Morbia. Gulf of Morbia. In a little town called Twirda, and many years ago I went uh, pillaging the surrounding countryside and I broke into the place and stole some holy relics and desecrated them, sacred altar. And sure enough, those old monks threw a curse on me. What needs to be done? They didn't care about the holy relics but I be thinking they might uh, go the ropes in a bundle over the altar. You see, I spilled some wine and ale all over it, and I might have even relieved myself. And it'd be a long night, you know. I can see where can they might have a problem with that. Yeah, they weren't a sim hints when we left. Anyways, that altar and theirs, I think I need be replaced. You'll have to talk with the monks there to find out what needs to be done. Savvy? Here, where the temple is, it shows on your map. I've already done that, tell him, of Edwin Wells. You have. Looks like the stars are shining down on this old deal part once, maybe. That's one less thing you need to do. Good bit. Now, the other tasks. The third one. 
the last task will be the most difficult. You see, as I was getting on in years, this was nothing I hadn't done and no way I hadn't sailed and no treasure I hadn't laid me lands on, hands on. There was only one thing I wanted and I wasn't even sure if I'm excited and I made it me business to find out. What was it? The Benjillion Scourge. And what is the Benjillion Scourge? The Benjillion Scourge is the most evil piece of weaponry ever wielded by any soul in the land of Arcan. Legends say it was forged into blood, fires, Evangelion deeps, and that virgins and children were thrown into the fire to keep it stroked. Stopped. That is horrible. Or oh, interesting. I'd say horrible. Horrible, don't even come close. It also be said that the Baina Cree cut down a whole battalion of elven warriors with it before he was banished, and that Loric wielded it during the Dwarven clan wars, and that any but the most evil of people die at the mere sight of it. Sounds like an evil blade. Yes, many, and an evil blade it be. I wanted more than anything in the all of Arcanum, and I planned to get me hands on it. What happened? At the time, I had me a crew of seven of the most black-hearted and soulless pirates, and they all agreed it was a fine piece of treasure to go after, and we took pirates' blood oath to stand by one another, share in treasure. And so we searched Arcanum for it and found it one day we did in the swamps of the dark fence down in the Benjelin Deeps. And then it been buried there for centuries, a beautiful sight, its blade as black as onyx and carved in ancient rune work. And I held it me hands and it called to me. Isn't it one that we already obtained at some point? What did you all do with it? We all did nothing, maybe. That night, when everyone was asleep, that cursed blade twisted my mind, and it told me that my crew was mutinous and looking to get rid of me. And so I killed them all in their sleep, maybe. Cut all the throats from ear to ear. When I woke in the morning and seen what I've done. I threw the blade down and ran right out of there. And the Bangelian Scourge? It still lies there, as far as I know, among the murdered bones at my crew. You must destroy that evil blade at the bottom of the cave that you found it in the great furnace. Toss it in there and let the world be done with it. Here's where the deeps be. He points an area on a map in the northernmost part of Arcanum. And the other tasks. No, it's it's not oh hey. Oh nice question straight away. So okay. My answer would be guess. <laughs> nice. Hello to you too. Are you Serbian? Oh how to properly say it? Serbian? Maybe Uzbek. And the other tasks? Which of them you want to hear about? I've heard them all. Is there anything else? That's all, matey. Will you help me if mm, you do this thing? I give you my word as pirate that I'll give you my ship. She's old, but there is not a better vessel than ever sailor Kingdom sees. Okay, I'll do it. I wish you luck on your quest, matey. If you finish this task, then return here. I'll give you me boat and me thanks. I'll do that, Pete. And interesting, how is his boat is better than 
the one that uh, Captain Teach owes. Actually, he doesn't own it anymore. I think for me it doesn't matter. It's like not this type of game where you can compare boats by the stats. It's just for the sake of choice. Whatever you choose to gamble for Mr. Uh, Captain's Teach boat or to complete all the stats that String P just gave you. Of course, that is more interesting. Stringly P thinks there may be a way to break his curse. If I do what is necessary, he will give me this his boat. I confront the ghost of Stringly Pete about getting his boat. It seems he's cursed to sell the seas of Canon for all time. So yeah, I guess I'll get his boat and what will happen? And I'll hire Mr. Teach, Mr. Captain Teach. I don't teach just the three options. Okay, I go backwards. So there are three quests. Stringly Pete wants you to return his treasure, including the silver boot, buckles of Jonas Williamson, to the remaining members of the Williamson family. Stringly Pete wants you to put the Bangelian scourge into the Bangelian ferns. Ah. Uh. Are you rushing? Thanatos, half over Isle. Thanatos, I'm curious, is it just the... Wait, no, it couldn't be. It couldn't be the very last location. Because we still haven't gone to this Vandy Growth Waste. Um... So, the Bangelians Deeps, the one, then Williamson, To return his treasure, including the silver boot buckles. Damn. I missed this part. Remember about Vangelian, Vangelian. But. You also marked my map somewhere, right? Okay, let's go. Oh, the Williamson homestead. Huh. Right there. Dun, 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 dun.
How did it happen? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Let's get going. These guys are so quick. Mountain lions. I wish I had the, their speed. Ah. Enough. The Williamson homestead. Um, what do I do actually? I... I I should dig up his grave on that cove. Hey, will you talk to me now? Uh, but it, it wasn't diggable. It, it, you couldn't interact with it, I remember. But did I have shower with me? Probably no. Probably no. Okay. So most likely what I need to do is to go to to some city. Let me try to talk to some of them. Hello, hello. Molly, you want not me? It's Molly you want, not me. Where is Molly? This human villager. Hello. I'm happy to meet you. I ask who you are, madam. My name is Molly Williamson, sir. It's a pleasure, Molly. Do you have a moment to speak? Sure, what do you need to know? What are you doing out here, Molly? Well, sir, it's cheap living out here in the middle of nowhere. We eat what we pull out of the ocean, make all our own clothes, and beyond that, we don't need a whole lot. The Williamson clan ain't never its clan. The Williamson clan ain't never had a whole lot of money. Not since the, what happened to my great granddaddy, Jonas Williamson. Anyhow, actually, what's why I'm here? That's why I'm here. What are you talking about? I know this sounds strange, but tell her the story. Well, I'll be. The woman shakes her head. I heard strange tales, and then I heard strange tales. You take the care cake, sir. Yours. Story. Right. Tale. To think that the ghost uh, that old pirate wants to make good for what he's done almost 200 years ago. Yes, is a bit unbelievable. So, you brought me that old treasure and the buckles? Oh, not yet. I'll be doing so shortly. Actually, I think I'm going to kill you and keep the treasure. No, no, no. Oh, well, if you ever find it, I suppose we could make use of some of it. Good day to you. Okay, so what I just said. We'll go to the rant. It's not too far, actually. Get some shower and come back to that cove and dig the treasure and turn hey guys how many times should I kill but I, I really enjoy looting you especially when there is what to loot
There should be some shower here. No? Oh. All right. Ah, what? Sixty nine? Who needs it? Diamond book. Um, plate of zerps. Okay, you know what? Oh my god. This shawl takes way too much space. Um Not interested. Twenty coins. Diamond necklace. How about this morning star perfume? Um, probably don't need it. Two coins. Okay, now that'll do. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Special edition? Oh, of course I want to read it. What is it about? Special edition. Sirs, I'm forced to write again in protest of your recent arts column recommending the infamous mummer's dance production at the old market theater yet again the sadly misguided miss sykes has seen fit to praise all that is wrong and horrible in today's artistic society to take the ancient and traditional Mummer's tales. Oh my gosh, it's so boring. Human poet. Oh. In an arcane, even such things are usually fun to read, but this time when it's not much fun, really. Shall we barter? Trut, trut.
Oh, let's sell that one. Oh, maybe I already did. No, I haven't. Penalty for males, so I definitely don't need it. Uh, where are they? Over here. coins Oh, look at this. Huh. I thought it actually was right there where this pit was himself located. His treasure. But it's turned out it's different location. Yeah, that should be done at night. Okay, okay, enough. I can shoot already. So many of them.
enough no okay let's just dig it up you unsuccessfully dig there with your hands wait shovel oh my goodness i had it i forgot that i have to put it in a quick, quick slot treasure put back okay enough and Oh, look how convenient. Just a pair of plants. Cree. Let's go to Cree. Enough. Look, what is it? Tobacco leaf. Puppy flower. Oh, look at this. Tree. Mm, wait, I don't want to fight these guys. Skills, no way. <laughs> I didn't even not. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Maybe if I put on this, for example, I think it won't change anything. Wait, 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 wait. Human bandit. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm out of <clears throat> stamina. Fatigue.
Wait, really? I didn't see? life so what's the point of this place there should be some <clears throat> good treasure this is super strong Look at this. No oh, small map. Oops, oops, oops. No. Wow. This is super strong. Huge village. Oh, look, look. I think there is uh, another altar. Yeah. Oh, I guess. <clears throat> what is it? Alter? Yes, that's for sure. Oh, another one? too many for some lunatics oh my this uh
<laughs> what about these guys? Attack! I hope at least here they have something good. wrong with you Not good, not good. <laughs> Right away. Sure, I'll do it right away. Sure, sure, I'll do it right away. It is done. It is done. 
It is done. Aha. Decided to kill Magnus. Not so easy. Not so fast. Um, just a couple of them left over here. That's it. Golden Idol of Cree? Uh-huh. How 500 stones. <laughs> oh my goodness, how heavy it is. Oh, she ran out. <laughs> of potions. Okay. Let's do it again. <sighs> this one is altar. This one is altar. Whose altar is it? Great horned god, terrible, powerful, great horned god. We shake for you, terrible before you, great horned god of pain, fearsome, great shakar, angry, wrathful, great shakar, handle of bone, blade of steel. Shakar, great god of rage. The great Ram Shakar, fierce, awesome, night, nighty Shakar. Give me your blessing, your warlike ways, the furious Ram Shakar. I don't know, I don't know, let's see what he gives us. I think strength, maybe. Will he give us anything? It seems you have brought the wrong offering to this altar. So you know what? Hold it back.
Shakar, the Orcish god of war. Shakar, the Orcish god of war, was a frightening creature with the head of a ram, four arms, and the tail of a scorpion. For many years, orcs sacrificed their firstborn to Shakar. But Orcish lore says that Shakar changed his mind about the sacrifices when he saw that the orcs were truly warlike and then demanded only their finest weapons as offerings. Traditionally, this war bone handled knives and swords, bone to represent Shakar's great horns and tempered steel to represent his will. The orcs were very serious about the god and they carried such weapons to remind them uh, of his ferocity. It is said that some of the lesser barbarian tribes have taken to worshipping Shakar. It is rumored that an altar to the god still exists in the ruins of Kri, an ancient city in the southern region of the Mar Morbian Plains. Offerings made to the Shakar was said to imbue the gear with incredible skill of battle. Wow, so many of gods. Then Yes, any of this will do. Barbarian heavy blade. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. You have brought the wrong offerings to you. What else? Okay, let's check what was here. Did I check it at all? Ah, yeah, just did. this game Holy moly, where are you? Um, 
I want to see. And uh, what? Where can I sell, can I sell it? Uh, there was some buckle or something, right? Mm, where is it? That looks, um, this buckle. Oh yeah, this one. Silver boot buckle. Reason Molly Wilson. Do you have a moment? Sure. What do you need to know? I brought you treasure and the buckles. Well, thank you. I suppose all string beat ain't such a bad bugger after all. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> so easy. Oh, thank you. Mm, let's do the easiest task. Right away. Oh, right away, by the way, we need to pick up flowers. Again, you. Good show. Perhaps they'll think twice before attacking us again, eh? Sure, I'll do it right away. Uh -huh. I'm start picking up flowers. Why for? Six four. <clears throat> Seven. 
Seven four. Nine five actually. <clears throat> Ten six, ten seven. Where is it? No flowers at all. Okay. Swamps. Um, make us 
wherever possible. Bring, bank, bulk. <laughs> Twenty five only. Once again, inventory to two more. It's okay. It's okay. Black diamond. Oops. This is interesting. Black diamond. Another black diamond. Oh, ho, ho, who's this? Wait. OK. 
Cursed Paladin. Who is this? Paladin Slave. Paladin Slave. All of them are. Okay. Sure. I'll do it right away. Do it right away. My gang is way too powerful. Broadsword. Where is this main guy? Curse Paladin. That's it. So what was that? Unidentified this. Uh, and I was supposed to. Put it here. Oh no, this one. The Ben Benjelian Scarch. Mine fifty six gold. All these good stuff. Mm, who want to take this one? I think you want. No. Oh yeah. But she actually. I want this. Okay, let's do this way. Have some space. It's okay. Boom, 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 boom. So, what does do the evil line? Harm, lighting, and quench life. Second, I'll load on the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are ready.
ship is ours. Again. Oops, oops, oops. No, 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 no. to do ah, okay just collect flowers so we already have two and zero let's start from here and Stringy Pete wants you to put the Magellan Scorch into the Magellan Furnace. Stringy Pete wants you to return his treasure, including the silver boot, buckles of John Johnson, to the remain members of the Williamson family. Okay, I think I did. Did I? Yes, I did. One. Three one. Oh, 
for one. Five, two, five, three. Six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eleven, eleven. Okay.
Shadow Hand Dagger. Arcane Ropes. Small Mystic Travel Clock. Arcane X.
Oh matey, do you succeed in finishing your tasks? Yes, I've done what needed to be done. That's be amazing, lady. I never thought you'd be able to do it. I never thought that someday I'd be free of this body curse. Thank you. From the bottom, a mean pirate heart. It was nothing, Pete. Now, what about the boat? Yes, of course, May. She's all yours. Feel free to take her wherever you want. I'll not be needing her where I'd be going. Thank you, Pete, and good luck to you. Boom. So, it's mine. Woohoo! Ho ho ho! Nice! I can. Go wherever I want. Find nice ready. Nice. Three. Um how about more? Ashbury. For free. How about that? Let's go and break to Mr. Teach. No, not Ashbury. Black Road. Hope you find a way to get that ship, matey. And if you happen to win back the GSP shadow, I'll meet you on her decks. Away with you. Leave me and the map alone. Who needs your map? So, wow, that, that was quite a lot just to get to Thanatos. My goodness! It was too much. So, okay, thanks so much who watched and will watch. So, I really hope you will come again this time already tomorrow and um, we'll continue straight to the Thanatos. No delays anymore. For now, thank you and I'll see you soon.